Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elrosa Gaming here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to x ray in your Minecraft world just like this. And as you can tell, I look weird. Uh, your characters and your friends' character models will glitch out, but you will be able to see all of the chests, mobs, players, and mob spawners through the ground, making it easy to find buried treasure, mob spawners like skeleton spawners, zombie spawners. Uh, mine shafts as you could tell I could look that's my bed with my cat on it down there There's my mine carts that have my villagers sitting in them. Oh, uh, what is that? Oh, that's my wolf my map ender chest. It doesn't work for barrels But it works for these chests if you guys are wondering how I got my grass to move just like this You could follow my shader tutorial linked in the description and if you guys want round shields just like this one there is also a tutorial for that linked in the description. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to get x-ray. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is hit the middle button, go to your settings, click settings. On the left side, go down to display and sound, video output, and then go to video fidelity and overscan. Now this is one of the most important stats, steps throughout the whole tutorial, so make sure that you have this on the right unchecked. This is what it looks like with a check mark, and this is what it looks like without a check mark. You're gonna have to have no check mark in that box. And if you do not do that, you will not be able to get the x ray pack. So go ahead and go all the way back. Uh, the next step is gonna be Microsoft Edge. Open up your Microsoft Edge, get yourself on this website right here. You can see the URL at the top, and I'm gonna edit in the URL on the screen in the middle. So you're gonna wanna type in www.mediafire.com slash file slash 52 W9HRZD 5359M2A slash X ray with the little line in between dot MC pack. If you misspell it, it will not take you to this page. So you're going to want to hover over the green download button with your cruiser and hit the pause button, aka the button with the three lines, and then copy a link. After you do this, you could go back to your dashboard, go to games and apps, but for me, it's right here. Uh, you're going to have to make sure that you have file downloader and UFO transfer. So make sure to go to your store, games and apps, and then download those two. And uh, this should be on your Xbox by default, but if you don't, get file explorer. So after you copy that link from Internet Explorer, Go ahead and click on File Downloader. After File Downloader is done being loaded, go to the top left and click on the three lines. Then from URL, Local Storage. Now you're going to want to paste your URL right here in this box where it says Enter or Paste here. So go ahead, hover over it, push the pause button, and then click paste. You're gonna want to click the arrow on the right side that's pointing down and then click start. Now you're downloading the pack through this app into the right folder and then you're gonna want to go to storage, local storage and then where is it at? x-ray.mc pack you're going to want to change this from an mc pack to a dot zip file you're going to want to hit the check mark on it click the three lines at the bottom right then rename and then push the right bumper and then erase the mc pack and then replace that with z i p and then hit the pause button oh, wait no that doesn't work or just Push B and then click OK with the cruiser. Now you will be able to access all of the files inside of the X-ray zip just like this. So before we go any further, you're going to want to go back into the area where it's downloaded. At the top, you type in X-ray. Alright, so after you type X-ray up there, you're going to want to go down to the three dots again at the bottom right and then click new folder so pretty much you've just created a new folder called x-ray and once you create it push b 
and there it is x-ray so you're gonna want to open up the x-ray.zip again click this icon at the bottom right with the little lines and the check marks in the square that'll check mark every single file right here and then copy after that you push B click on the x-ray folder that you created and then click the clipboard at the bottom right because that is how you're going to paste all of the files into the folder it may take a while for you if you're actually I don't know it's not that many files so once you paste it go back and uh, there it is that's how you get all of the x-ray textures into the right folder next thing you're gonna want to do is open up ufo.transfer if you do not have this like I said download it from the app store on Xbox okay so if you do not see this uh, gear icon at the top right it is because you did not remove the check mark like I told you in the first step of the tutorial so make sure you go and do that you're gonna wanna click this and then click open in file explorer what this will do is it'll uh, help you access files that you normally cannot access without this app so once it loads you're gonna wanna click packages and then right here megascopes uh, it might I don't, it probably looks the same but I don't know if it'll have the same numbers on your end so it's the megascopes.universal file click A on it local state and here it is x-ray so you're gonna wanna hover over it hit pause aka the button with the three lines and then copy now you're gonna wanna go back up to packages and you're gonna want to find the mine Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console folder. Uh, yours might be on the right, but mine's is on the left. So try to find it. it might take you a while. Uh, so once you find it, hit A on it. And then local state, games, Mojang, resource packs. And if you do not have resource packs right here, you're going to have to create a new folder. So click on okay it's this one uh, so you're gonna want to click this one right here the paper with the plus or folder with the plus I guess you're gonna want to type in resource underscore packs and it has to look just like this and if it doesn't then it won't work so make sure you spell it just like this folder once you have it created open it up and then at the bottom right here the clipboard with the paper you are gonna want to click that to paste the folder you copied and there it is we just added the x-ray next thing you gotta do is just load up minecraft and equip it onto your world just like I will show you right now okay so once your minecraft loads click play find the world you want to equip the x-ray pack on click the little pencil on the right of the world and you're gonna want to find your x-ray pack right here it looks just like this one and click plus to equip it and uh, make sure it's at the top okay it is and then you're gonna want to click play and if you're trying to find your buried treasure that because sometimes you're trying to dig up buried treasure in minecraft and it, you just cannot find it so you could just exit the world equip this look down and uh, finally freaking get that freaking buried treasure <laughs> I low-key did that in my world sometimes because I couldn't find it but yeah, this is my house. I can see all the chests through the floor. Uh, same like with mobs right here. It doesn't work, like I said, with furnaces and like barrels. But it works for chests and uh, apparently jukeboxes. Oh, wait, does it? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, this is my little area where I put away all my thingies. But if you guys enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to like the video. Share it with your friends so they could also use these x-ray pack uh, and if you guys want to know how to get your grass looking as nice as this where like the side is also grassy uh, follow my how to get better grass tutorial linked in the description same with how the sun looks realistic in the clouds that is th the sun in the clouds and the moving grass is a part of the shader pack that I am using right now so if you guys want to get a shader pack go ahead and follow the t shader pack tutorial in the description 
And uh, hit that like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be uploading a bunch of Minecraft uh, mini games with my friends. And I'm going to be doing a survival uh, Let's Play series where I play solo and try to beat the Ender Dragon on my own. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Peace.